They're not in charge anymore, so. Big ol' Uncle Val. There's so many big boys on the roster, and he doesn't... Everybody else uses the stairs, he doesn't use the stairs, he just climbs on in. He's got rippling thick thighs. He looks really depressed. <laughs> what happened? He hurt you. You girls. Val, ladies man. Val Venus. <laughs> yes, Val Venus, ladies man. Clearly. You're not treated as such because you got clobbered in an Iron Man match by Bajira and made him look like a fool. <laughs> he got fashion advice from artists. <laughs> Aris told him, tell him about the boots. Tell him about the boots! Aris is in his ear right now, trying try to tell him what to say. See, they used to have their voice in Thurinder, like he was the he was the, the PR man for their team. Now, all they've got is Vol. <laughs> It's just his lack of respect. Well, if you would, if you would have held the Zabando's title for more than like a day, I think people would have respected you a bit more than you than they are right now. At this point, with so many people talking about the authority, I feel like whatever goes forward to the managers and the CEO of the company, like, they they just slap random papers down and Alicia just stamps it. Approved. He's too busy handling everything else. He just will break his contract. Well, that's not something you're able to do. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is, no matter who has my back, I will do whatever I want. And then he just leaves. He basically just said, this company loves me, I'm going to win anything, everything, no matter what. And if I don't, I will probably kill someone. Thanks, Val.